It's Alicia Cole from Poppy's Playhouse Quilting and today I have another tutorial for you and we are going to be making this cute little hourglass block. Um, it's a very small block. I am actually currently making a quilt that was supposed to be a Christmas present for my parents so um, it calls for a couple of these small little blocks. So I'm going to show you how to do this today. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to be practicing some skills like um, an accurate quarter inch seam as always, um, half square triangles, and accurate cutting because we are going to be using a ruler that has a 45 degree angle in order to get these half square triangle blocks nice and um, trimmed. So let's get started. So these are some of the supplies that we are going to need to be able to make this block. Um, you're going to need two fabrics. I'm using a turquoise and a darker blue. Um, you're going to need one three and three quarters inch square of the blue. You're going to need one three and three quarters inch of the dark navy blue. And you're going to need two three inch squares of your dark color. Some other things that you're going to need are some rotary cutters, um, a pair of scissors, a marking pen, and a ruler that has the 45 degree angle mark on it. So let's get started making this block. So the first thing that you're going to need to make this block is you are going to take your lighter color and you are going to mark a line from corner to corner and then you're going to place it on top of your darker color. These are the three and three quarter inch squares. Um, and then you're going to sew, sew a quarter of an inch on each side of that line. And now we are going to cut it apart at the line. And this will give us our two half square triangles. When we press these, I'm going to be pressing over to the darker side. So I flip it to the back and I press that seam to the dark side. Sorry, I cracked myself up thinking about Star Wars jokes. We're just going to do that with both of these and then we're going to need to take these over to the cutting mat and trim these down to three inch squares. To trim these, all we're going to do is we are going to take our ruler with our 45 degree mark and we are going to line that 45 degree mark up with our seam. And what I like to do is I like to trim it on both sides. So I do a little bit bigger than three inches and I'm gonna trim it on this side. Then I'm gonna flip it over, line up our 45 degree mark and our three inch mark and then trim off this side. and that will give us our three inch square. So we're just gonna do that with both of them. And then we're going to take our other two three inch squares and we are going to take these back over to the sewing machine. To finish this block, we are simply going to lay it out where our light blue are touching each other. And then our other two pieces are going to go in the other corners. And then we're just going to sew it like a four patch. So we're going to flip this one over. 
and flip this one over. And we're just going to sew a quarter inch down the sides. Now, after pressing them, um, I did press the seams over towards the solid dark blue square just because there was less bulk over there and um, that means that these are going to be opposite, helping us nest our seams together. So now we're just going to flip these two onto each other, nest up our seams real nice, and sew a quarter inch seam down that side. Now we're gonna go and press this to finish it. Now for this last seam, since there's the same amount of bulk on both sides, my personal preference is to press these seams open. So all you do is open up the seam, give it a little finger press, get your iron in there. But if you feel more comfortable just pressing it to the side, by all means, go ahead and do that. I just find that Pressing the seams open on this last one helps my block lie a little flatter. And in this quilt, there's going to be so many seams that um, I'm just trying to find any way to make them lay a little flatter so it'll be a little easier to quilt. And there is your finished block. So here is our finished blocks. And of course you can take this tutorial and apply your own size of fabrics to it. So you don't have to end up with a five inch block because I know that this is extremely small, um, but you can scale it up and make an hourglass quilt, which I've actually done. Um, if you know how to do half square triangles, you can take this method and you can make all kinds of different blocks with it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I have other tutorials up on my page right now, so if you want to, go and check them out. It would be much appreciated. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, show me some love, and I hope to see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.